Hey guys. Hello YouTube. So we're on our way to a house somewhere in Suffolk. Somewhere in Suffolk. Somewhere. We're on our way to a place, uh, a house in Suffolk. We can't say where we're going, but this is a house that is haunted. Uh, we've had a call from a family. Uh, they have a lots of stuff happening in the house, around the house. Um, with the family, so we're gonna go check it out, see if there is anything there. Obviously, we can't film in the house because obviously the family, but uh, we're gonna kind of, yeah, just let you know what happens really. I have about. never done something like this in my life where we go to a house where like someone needs the help. It's totally new for you, this. So, yeah, I'm excited to see like if I like, feel anything in the house. Completely different, completely different to like investigations, yeah. like, paranormal investigations and stuff. Be going, won't you? And you will you get like an, an instant sort of feeling? Yeah, or absolutely. So go in, see what's in there. See if there is anything in there. Sometimes you get calls from families and there's nothing in there. There's there yeah. is no spirit, and so yeah. You just oh, I hope there is something in there. Oh, we do love it when there is, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, very bad. Just got caught in my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> haunted house obviously there's gonna be a lot of like skeptics isn't it like oh, some skeptics, people believe loads. some people don't believe some people want to believe but have no reason to so how do we sort of prove prove it to people who are watching well it's that whole thing shade of you've got to see it to believe it yeah and if you remember when you first came along mm. how did you what did you think what did you well i personally have always believed it but i i, I have never like, actually experienced anything to do with it yeah. so obviously doing them and when like the things happen like the thing when you can physically see things moving yeah, or yeah. hear things and like oh gosh, I thought we were going to crash oh, gonna and that car's there <laughs> that's that's a car that's yeah. not a spirit car so when like you actually are there there's no other explanation you have to believe it this is why i say if people are skeptic they have to watch these things be yeah. there and see it for themselves yeah and, um, Anyone who says to me, oh, I don't believe it, I'm like, well, come then. And then like, oh, no, they get a bit scared. I'm like, well, scared. why are you scared if you don't believe it? If you don't believe it, then Why are you scared? So, yeah. yeah, you should definitely so, yeah. come along. It'll be interesting um, yeah. to see what you feel in the house, because obviously... Yeah. You know, I might, I might walk in and be like, oh, there he is. Who knows? <laughs> that would be impressive. That would be impressive, wouldn't it? That would be impressive. Because I definitely think the more I do, Absolutely. And, and uh, obviously, Darren is driving us today. Yeah. Hi, Darren. As always. And uh, Darren, <laughs> Darren, you sometimes get like feelings, don't you? About remember being in houses before. Um, Darren, you sometimes get feelings, don't you? About what you're feeling, <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah, I have had quite a few feelings. I found a few things in there as well. So yeah, to be interesting. I do believe. I mean, you live with that. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, so yeah. You have to be involved, lift you. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. If you haven't noticed YouTube, I say there you go. All, all the, the time. time, and you're going to pick go. up, but you know, pick, picked go. up. It's going to be in every single video. It's going to be there on you go. Bio. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so we'll let you know when um, we get there. Yeah, you know how we get on. There you go. There you go. So, uh, we are almost at the house. Are you ready for this? I'm well excited, yeah. Here it goes. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we have just, um, oh, I'm a bit wobbly, aren't I? We've just been to visit the house. Wow. And it was massive, firstly. <laughs> really nice house. Really big house. I just don't know what to say. Ryan um, is literally speechless, which is scary me. So the story is, basically, is they've done some paranormal investigations with a company like where you buy tickets and go on a paranormal night which is cool but they've obviously done it with people that don't really know what they're doing there was mm. no media so present dangerous. they've opened Ouija boards and not closed down they've not checked that there's nothing going home with them being like following them so basically when they've done several of these nights they've got a house now that is full of all sorts really all sorts and the other thing is they've still got a Ouija board that they use in the house in the house that is just it's a freaky board well, as well. I, well I wouldn't go in that bathroom so we're walking round and obviously I don't see anything 
But the minute I walked in, did you see? I was like, <coughs> that was yeah. I was yeah, like, the yeah. second I walked in there, I was like, mm, this feels different with the air. And then Ryan was walking around, and you see his face. He doesn't hide things with his face. Oh, this is gonna be so wobbly. <laughs> Ryan doesn't hide things with his face at all. He's like. <laughs> Looking around. This is what he's oh like. He wouldn't even go in God. some of the rooms. He walked in one room. He was like, "No, no, I'm getting out. I'm getting out." He's like, "What? Like, what were you picking up on? Though? Like, I don't understand." There was in, in, in the room that I wouldn't go in, which is that bathroom. There was a man, and he's literally just male spirit. And uh, I would have said, I didn't get too involved, so they didn't come anywhere past. But I would have said he was probably in his like early fifties, and he's just sitting there like rocking, like. <laughs> so <laughs> scary forward. really really scary and just really messed up spirit which obviously and the worst thing is they have uh, um a lot of children the ages of like 2 to 15 i'd say i think they yeah, were yeah. and you said the kids room is kids aware, aware where the it spirit is. so which is horrible to think oh, it's yeah. horrible you just have to be so careful when you're doing anything paranormal yeah. if you don't know what you're doing and you're not with someone experienced that knows what they're doing don't do it because it's just not safe it's not no. fun and uh oh, oh sorry and the consequences can just be like what what when you went in that first room the kids room yeah. so there's a man in there like what was he doing just like standing by the window just, just stand, watching it just, <laughs> like did he so wait just, no just very still just looking watching we're gonna have to go and help him out Sinead. oh my god yeah we're gonna have to go and help him out i walked in i was like i'm so excited the family were like well, we're not excited. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, I don't mean that, but I mean, like, they're terrified. I actually feel really sad for them, like. Yeah, no, it's sad. It's and sad. especially the kids, obviously, are getting really scared because they're picking up on stuff. Cause yeah. Of, um, apparently, they're having a lot of activity there. Um, I mean, you were feeling things, weren't you, Darren? You got pushed yeah. in you, Darren. Someone pushed yeah, in your right. leg. Oh, my gosh, right. yes, we haven't even told you about that. Yeah. So, we were standing in one of the rooms, which is one of the rooms I didn't feel good in at all. Another like, kid's bedroom. Yeah, and I was like, there's something bad in here. And Darren just literally turned around to me and was like, someone's just pushed me, someone's just pushed my leg. I mean, when you when you love sort of paranormal stuff and you want activity to happen and you want to catch things, mm. it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, but living there... But living there, being in that... And no, there's a nice, nice little old lady there as well, who died there. So, yeah. She's nice and she can't yeah. even have her house back because it's full of angry, grumpy men. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> she just wants to potter her own. Just like your life, really. Full yeah, of full of angry. grumpy, <laughs> angry <laughs> men are there. You just can't get rid of them. You just cannot get rid of them. <laughs> Apart from, I'm actually the opposite. I get ghosted all the time, oh, so well, <laughs> I want some more there angry men in my there life. But yeah, no, just um, really strange. Obviously, we will go and help the family. We can't Obviously. talk about who and where because that's not fair on them. Oops, um, but um, crazy. Well. Like I've never seen you so quiet. He did not speak at all walking in the house. You just like went into a, into your zone, but like when, that was so. I've never seen you that into your zone before. I was in, yeah, no. He was like, take me to the back of the house. Wouldn't you? Yeah, you could just feel it was. I knew it was at the back. But I think it's because. When you're, as a medium, when you're working with things that aren't nice, that sort of thing, and you're trying to help people in this yeah, situation, you, can probably see you just it. have to be so careful and so yeah. wary. And obviously, I was very much like, oh my god, what the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? So, um, scary times. Scary times. We're going to sort them out, we're going to clear our house. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Smart, shit. we? Well, you wouldn't make me, but. <laughs> there you go. There we go. If you've enjoyed our video and enjoyed our paranormal investigation, then make sure you click subscribe to join me and Sinead on many more paranormal investigations and other videos and lots of fun stuff coming your way on our YouTube channel soon.